what's going on everybody welcome back to my youtube channel look at this nice and beautiful question on the board that we're going to be solving and the question says find f of x for which f of 2x minus 1 all over x minus 3 equal to x squared well our first step will be for us to replace this expression with a variable that means let z be equal to this expression which is 2x minus 1 all over x minus 3. Our next step will be for us to make x the subject. That means let isolate x. And how do we do that? Uh, we need to cross multiply. So that means z will multiply x minus 3 x minus 3 equal to 2x minus 1. Now let's open up this bracket. So z times x is xz minus z times 3 is 3z equal to 2x minus 1. Now remember we want to isolate x. So let's collect like terms. That means I'm going to be moving this 2x to the left-hand side. So I've already got xz on the left. As 2x crosses, it becomes minus 2x equal to. Now I'm going to be moving this negative 3z to the right so that it becomes positive 3z. Now I've already got negative 1 here. So I'm going to be writing that down. Now notice that x is common so let's factor out x now xz divided by x i'm going to be having z minus 2x divided by x i'm going to be having 2 equal to 3z minus 1 now our next step will be for us to divide both sides by z minus 2 so Divide the left hand side by z minus 2 and divide the right hand side by z minus 2. Now, z minus 2 will cancel out z minus 2 so that I have x remaining on the left to be equal to 3z minus 1 all over z minus 2. Remember, we want to isolate x, which we have done. Now let's go back to the question given to us. So we have f of, instead of writing this expression, remember we said let z be that expression. So I'm going to be writing z here. Be equal to x. What do we have as our x? x is this expression. So I'm going to be replacing x with this expression. So this becomes 3z minus 1 all over z minus 2 and remember x is raised to a power of 2 that means i'm going to be raising this expression to a power of 2. now let's expand this remember this power is affecting the numerator and is also affecting the denominator so f of z will then be equal to now let's expand the numerator this becomes 9 z squared minus 6z plus 1. This is the result from expanding the numerator all over. Now let's expand the denominator. I have z squared minus 4z and then plus 4. Now this is f of z and not f of x which the question requires us to find. But don't worry We've already got our answer, which means what we are going to do will be for us to replace this z with x. Let's do that in the next slide. So let's go ahead and replace z with x in order to get our final answer. So f of, remember, z is being replaced with x. So x equal to 9x squared minus 6x plus 1 
all over x squared minus 4x plus 4. And this is our final answer. Well, feel free to share your ideas in the comment section below. And if you enjoyed this video and have learned something from this video, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't. Turn on the notification bell so you don't miss my upcoming videos. And like I always say, until next time, take care.